I want to start this series off by addressing one of the most common questions I see. Which AI coding tool delivers the best code quality? Is cursor better? Is cloud code more accurate? Which one handles context better? And so on. And most comparison videos out there focus on the usual stuff like UI, features, code generation, and so forth. And while those are helpful, they only tell a part of the story. So in this video, I want to take a different approach. Instead of just showing you which tool seems to perform better, I want to explore why they perform the way they do. And to do that, we need to look at something most people overlook, which is the business model behind each tool. Because these AI coding tools run on top of expensive language models like Claude or ChatGPT, the way each company builds and prices their tools has a direct impact on the performance, the accuracy, and the code quality you get. Now, don't worry, I will do a full feature comparison between cursor and cloud code in a future video. But before we get there, I think it's important to first understand the business logic behind these tools. Because once you understand how they are built and how their business model operates, a lot of those differences in code quality starts to make a lot more sense. Okay, let's dive in. Let's start by looking at Cursor. Cursor is a AI-powered IED built on a custom fork of VS Code. But it's not just a code editor. It integrates AI features like smart code autocompletion, code generation, and chat. Now let's talk about how Cursor works behind the scenes and their business model. So Cursor charges $20 per month for their subscription, and that includes 500 fast AI requests and unlimited slow requests. Every time you use an AI feature, whether that's a chat message, a code generation, or even a follow-up, that counts as one request. Behind the scenes, Cursor takes your input, wraps it into a request, and sends it off to a large language model like ChatGPT or Claude via their APIs. The model processes it, sends a response back to Cursor, which then gets displayed to you. And the thing you need to know about large language models is that they are not cheap. For example, with Claude Sonnet 3.7, it costs $3 per 1 million input token and $15 per 1 million output token. Now, 1 million tokens may sound like a lot, but once you start feeding it full files, large code bases, and asking for full function rewrites, you can easily burn through a million tokens in a single day. So let's do a quick breakdown to see what it really costs cursor. Let's assume the average user fully uses their plan. They use all all 500 fast requests and maybe another 500 slow requests. That's 1,000 AI requests per month. Now let's estimate that each request uses around 20,000 input tokens and 5,000 output tokens. That's pretty reasonable if you're working on a medium-sized project. So over the course of a month, that adds up to 20 million input tokens, which is $60 if we were using Sonnet 3.7, and 5 million output tokens, which is $75. So our total cost is around $135 per user per month, just in API fees. But remember, Cursor is only charging $20 per month, which means they are losing over $100 per user every single month. Now, we don't know the exact numbers of paid users that Cursor has, but according to a January 2025 article, they reportedly had millions of users. To keep things conservative, let's say they have around 100,000 paying users. So even at this level, that's $10 million per month just in API costs. So why would any company do this? Well, like many startups, Cursor is in growth mode spending aggressively to build a loyal user base, just like how Uber and Airbnb did in its early days. But even then, the financial reality is clear. They have to reduce token usage. There's no sustainable or long-term business model where losing millions of dollars each month on API cost makes sense. So what this means is that Cursor is almost certainly doing heavy optimizations and clever tricks before any request gets sent to a language model. They are probably summarizing large files, deprioritizing files that seem unrelated to your current request, using internal embeddings to narrow the context window, and possibly caching or reusing previous responses. So these kind of token optimizations can save a lot on cost, but they come with a trade-off. By trimming down the input, there's always a risk that something gets lost in the process. And with large language models, they are extremely path-dependent, meaning if you change 
change even a tiny detail early on, it can send the model down a completely different line of reasoning. Something as simple as a missing function or a renamed variable can throw off the model and give you an inaccurate output. Now, to be fair, Cursor has some of the smartest people working on prompt engineering, compression, and all kinds of tricks to preserve context while keeping token usage low. But because Cursor operates on a flat $20 per month pricing model, they are financially incentivized to limit how much data they send to those large language models. And that limitation will impact the quality of the code the tool can return, especially in more complex or context-heavy scenarios. Okay, so that's Cursor, a powerful tool, but one shaped heavily by the limits of its pricing model. Now let's look at the other side of the equation, Claude Code. Unlike Cursor, which is a full-featured IED, Claude Code is a terminal-based coding assistant that runs directly inside your code base. It operates entirely in your terminal, so your workflow will feel very different compared to tools like Cursor, PyCharm, or VS Code. You won't be writing code in a text editor. Instead, you'll have a conversation with Claude right in the terminal, and Claude Code will generate and insert all the code for you. And here's where things get interesting from a business perspective. Claude Code works on an API-based model. Every time you use it, you're using API tokens, which you have to purchase from Anthropic. And as of recently, it's now introduced in their max plan. So unlike Cursor's flat monthly subscription, Claude Code's pricing scales with usage. The more tokens you use, the more revenue Anthropic makes, which means they have no real incentive to limit or aggressively optimize your request. In fact, it's in their interest to process larger prompts. So what does this mean in practice? It means Claude Code can afford to send larger requests that are unaltered with more context to the model. And remember, when it comes to LLMs, context is everything. More context means better understanding, which means more accurate and helpful results. So why does all this matter? Well, if we are talking about which tool delivers better results out the box, then Claude Code likely has the edge. Not because of some secret algorithm, but because it can work with more context. Claude Code doesn't need to aggressively optimize your request to fit a fixed price model. That means more of your code base and context make it into the prompt, and with large language models, more context usually leads to better results. So at the end of the day, AI tools are driven as much by business incentives as by technical design. When you understand the business model, the way these tools perform start to make a lot more sense.